Hello, welcome to Spurverts Part One. I am here with Craig Mitch. Oh, and Emma Story. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Now it's been a pretty big week. We had a big London derby. We played against Chelsea. Yes. It was nil nil. I want to know both of your thoughts. Craig, kick us off. What do you think? Um, I'm happy with a draw. I am happy with a draw. Looking at our fixtures coming up, it's not too damaging. Um, they played very well. He got the tactics right, Mourinho. They raised their game, unfortunately, and I think on the evidence of the game, I think draws are right. The weird thing is, I never thought I would ever be in a position to say I'd be disappointed mm -hmm. in a draw with Chelsea. Yeah. And yet, that's exactly how I felt after the match. Not because uh, we played badly, not because, you know, absolutely fair enough, Jose, part of the bus, got his tactics spot on, stopped us playing. But because I thought, do you know what? We're better than them. We're 10 points ahead of them in the league. We deserve to be 13 points ahead of them. Yeah, and I thought, that's true. do you know what? I thought we we're going to have too much. I said in the pre-match preview, I thought we'd have too much for them. And I was disappointed that Jose didn't man up and actually come to play football. Because if we all remember, Jose gave it to us a few years ago. Mm. We went to Stamford Bridge. We went for a nil-nil. And we got accused of being totally anti-football. Yeah. We parked the bus. It was a disgrace. Doesn't like it so much this way yeah, around, you've does got, he? You've got to remember as well, we battered them. I wouldn't say bad, but we beat them 5-3. Yeah. And uh, they, they don't want it, that to happen again. They were going to be very cautious about the result. And, and he, it he, wasn't, it wasn't going to be a repeat. It. He did Mourinho He did Mourinho it. Yeah. Is there a case for our defence? Normally he'd Mourinho it and then nick a 1-0. But we we got good defence this year, maybe. Is there a case for a positive there? Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I think there's a case for a positive in the defence because, again, we're really well organised, really yeah. strong. Apart mm -hmm. from that amazing save that Hugo made. Uh, yeah, I was going to point yeah. down to Towards Hugo. the end of the match. Apart from that, I can't say hand on heart, I think Chelsea honestly looked like seriously scoring. And also the other thing I think is a massive positive, we had just completed a four and a half thousand mile round trip to stupid yeah. Azerbaijan. Eight of the guys yeah. who started on Thursday night started on Sunday. The lesser Spursy, exactly, and the lesser Spursy teams from back in the day would have collapsed like a, yeah, like a pile of cards against definitely. Chelsea in the face of that kind of resistance, and yeah. we didn't. So we didn't that's lose. all positive. What about Pochettino's tactics? Do you think he was set up well or to go against Mourinho or do you think he was doing kind of what he always does? The same formation as always, never changes it and all he did really was it was Ryan Mason coming in for the suspended Deli Alley. Nothing really changed in set up right or I think he should have tweaked it a little bit because it's, it was obvious we couldn't play that high pressing game. Yeah. We just didn't have the energy yeah. to play it and we were set up to play that high pressing game and no one was really pressing. I mean when Chelsea had the ball, we wasn't forcing them to make mistakes. When Lamella came on he looked fresh, he was trying to put in a bit of a shift. He was trying we just did, too we did, hard. We didn't have the energy, so I think we should have <laughs> I think we should have set up in a different way. What way, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you guys know, but I, I think we should have set up a little bit different. I mean, I think it's a difficult one because I think we were a bit hamstrung by having played, you know, effectively 36 hours earlier. Mm, yeah. um, because I think it meant that perhaps the way that Poch would normally want to play, we actually couldn't affect it. But it also it wasn't necessarily the options there on the bench to change it up. I mean, I was surprised. He's normally pretty good with his tactical substitutions. Like, if he feels something isn't working, you know, normally he can bring a different kind of player on and it will make a difference didn't really happen on Sunday, even when Clinton. Lamella came on. Well, yeah, oh, Clinton, didn't really, he didn't, didn't really, really do much. no, didn't. he didn't. It was a weird time to come into the game though, yeah. I, I think. It's a difficult time. Lamella, you know, he ran around a lot and he was sort of in people's faces. He was giving away fouls in uh, dodgy positions for mm. William to cross in a free kick. And it, yeah. But I mean, I think we mustn't underestimate as well, like how much Jose set up not for us not to play. I mean, and he played a they young played, side, didn't he? Yeah. Against our young side. He got rid of Terry and he completely well, and you know, Terry Terry's injured, then he left Costa side. on the bench. There was no actual mm. out and out recognised forward in their yeah. starting eleven. Like that's a massive thing to kind of go with. You're basically saying you don't want to have that kind of classic goal poacher yeah. in the box ready to snatch Which your is winner. It's not what Chelsea historically have done against Spurs. Exactly. So that shows a good it's a massive tide. It's a massive sign of respect. And oh. I know Jose won't want to hear that, but mm. it's true. Well, you know? all about, let's talk about the actual greatest part of the game. William <laughs> getting the ball kicked in his face. <laughs> yeah. twice. Not once, twice. Not once, yeah. but twice. Not once, but twice. But the, be the best one has to be when Fabregas did it. It was just, just like, it's your own player. Place. For me, that was the, the biggest ground. positive of the game. <laughs> Fabregas <laughs> has <laughs> absolutely lost it. Completely. Guna scum. He's the lost his time. mojo big time. To me though, our performance, right, I thought it was the sloppiest we've been all season. Yeah. And I know this is Spurverts when we're going to be excited about stuff, but for me, it was like, you know when you do the Pele 7 in your back garden, right, you do some amazing keepy ups, but you're on your own, and then you go, Mum, come and watch this. And, and you, you get your mates to watch it, and they watch it, and you can't do it. It's like we'd invited Chelsea round to our house, and we couldn't do the Pele 7. <laughs> we couldn't do the Pele 2. <laughs> yeah. It was so frustrating. I was just watching and going, guys, we've, come on. But Eric on the, Dyer, you're better than this. But on the Super Plus side, we're still unbeaten. We're still, still unbeaten. unbeaten. There you go. And you think about the absolute horror November, which which it looked like we were going to have. Exactly, yeah, Three yeah. Three London derbies. Three tough games in a row. And Europa League, and you thought, oh my God, this is going to be a disaster. 
Didn't lose. Didn't lose. I have a possible nine foot five. Sweet. Happy exactly. with that? Happy with that? Fine, it's fine. I'll I take so. it. I'll take it. I would have preferred day. six. I would have. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got, we got a supposedly decent run coming up, so hopefully we can capitalise on that. Oh, yeah. we'll talk about that at a later date, I think. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> this has been Spurverts Part 1. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Spurverts Part 2, and we will see you shortly. Welcome to Spurverts Part 2. In Part 1, Reese James led it, but now I am taking control. <laughs> and Emma's story is still, still with here. us. She's